and welcome back everyone to organic lawn warrior channel i'm joe the lawn warrior i'm going to show you some problems that i've been having in my yard behind me over here and maybe a couple solutions to solve that problem so let's get started so like i was saying earlier i have a couple problems in my yard as you can see behind me over here um, i was trying to grow some grass seed in this area right here um, obviously not the smartest idea to do in the summertime, but I really didn't feel like looking at that patch over there for the rest of the summer. So I was watering three times a day, um, which is pretty excessive. Um, I was only doing 20 minutes on the zone That's, that covers this area over here for each time. Um, but I think what happened was it was getting too overwatered and the soil was staying moist uh, for too long. Um, and then I, I don't know if it's fungus or brown patch or just some heat stress because this is one of the sunniest parts of my yard um, over here and then over here as well my front over here um, and as you can see what we're gonna be throwing down today is some stress blend uh, by yard mastery of course um, I like using their products um, it's always three pounds per 1,000 for the recommended rate um, so what we're gonna do is hopefully maybe have some of this come back um, I don't know I was told that if I put down some of the stress bun this should come back um, here is the patch that I was saying I was trying to grow in so I've given up on that given up on some of the other patches that I've been trying to grow up uh, throughout the summer and just gonna hit it in the fall time with a big overseed but I'm gonna throw down this stress blend today hopefully it comes back if not that's okay like I said, fall overseed, we're gonna hit it heavy with some seed. And then same thing as over here, I'm having some problems here. Um, this head here was covering this area over here and it was hitting this area over here and it was hitting those spots down there that I was trying to grow in. And I don't know if that caused the problem as well. Um, I moved some sprinklers, I moved them up uh, under the sidewalk and put one over there um, so for better coverage so obviously I was trying to grow this patch in as well as this patch and I was again heavily watering and I don't know if that had anything to do with it or not I'm thinking it did but like I said we're gonna throw down some stress blend and hopefully that will help a little bit if not it's okay it's not a bad thing for the rest of the grass that's good, um, but come fall over seed, we'll hit it with some even more seed. So I'm not too worried about this at all. Um, my lawn was a complete renovation. Um, I'll let, leave a link to my video above on my GCI turf, um, tall fescue review that I did. I mean, this area over here was completely bare dirt and topsoil. So it was pretty much bare. I mean, it was, first seed ever in this area real good seed so I know that it takes a year or two for grass seed to really establish and really see itself through so I'm not too concerned about having to thatch this out if this doesn't come back and like I said earlier we're gonna throw it down even more in the fall time so what I'm gonna be throwing down today is the stress blend by yard mastery it's a 7020 fertilizer 7% nitrogen 20% potassium Obviously that end number is really what we need for heat stress. That potassium is what really helps your lawn come the hot, humid uh, long, you know, summers that we have, um, especially in New Jersey. It's been very humid this summer. Um, we've been seeing a lot of high heat uh, of late. Um, we actually have the tropical storm also coming up the coast right now. So my plan is to get this down today uh, in the morning time, water it in a little bit. Um, and before that tropical storm comes in, we're gonna see hopefully some rain from that and it will help even water this in even more. Um, so like I said, hopefully this will help. Um, I probably should have put this down from the start um, for my summer application. I put down uh, malorganite, which is, uh, everyone knows that malorganite is a 640 uh, fertilizer blend. It doesn't have any potassium in it. Um, so it does help green up your lawn. Um, it doesn't always help with the heat stress because it doesn't have an end number there. It's just a 640. Um, so I'm kind of a little disappointed that I probably should have put this down. I've been using a lot of Yard Mastery um, products uh, throughout the uh, springtime and the early um, 
the early uh, summertime. I used the Freedom for, I'll leave a link above on my review on that. I was really happy with that fertilizer. Um, but we're gonna throw this down today, come back in a few days, see my results, and hopefully we'll see some kind of, you know, awakening again of my lawn. Um, so we'll see. One more thing before we throw this down, all yard mastery uh, fertilizers are three pounds per 1,000. Uh, that's the great thing about their fertilizers is there is no guesswork um, in calculating your um, settings uh, or if you're measuring out like I do for my areas. Um, it's always three pounds per 1,000 for all their fertilizer blends. I'm back. It's been well over a week since I put down the stress blend by Yard Mastery. Um, as you can see, got some results I'm going to show you guys in, in a few minutes. But first, I'm going to mow. And we're back. I just got done cutting my lawn. It's uh, I usually cut my lawn uh, twice a week, usually Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and on the weekend on Saturdays. Um, if you follow my channel, you know that. Um, it's been about probably 10 to 12 days since I put down the stress blend. Uh, the Tropical Storm Elsa came through. We got a lot of rain from that. Um, we, I also been cutting back on my watering. Um, I think that's what's been causing a lot of my issues, uh, especially in this side of my yard. I was trying to grow some grass in this one section here where I was moving around sprinklers and I was watering a lot. I was watering probably three times a day in this section, about 15 minutes uh, each time. Um, and I th really think what happened was it just got way too moist um, for this section and it really caused some either fungus or some die off. I really don't know. Um, I don't put herbicides in my lawn so I'm not going to put down a fungicide. Um, but the stress blend has definitely helped with the green up in this section. Uh, definitely started to come back. Um, I can really tell obviously it's still very patchy in certain spots but that stress blend it definitely helped a green up, especially in this section that was really bad. Um, and you can see that here. I'll show you a picture of the before. And now obviously there's an after here. Um, it definitely greened up, but it's still patchy. Nothing I can do. Um, I did get a new dethatch rake. Um, I have a video coming on that one. Uh, this dethatch rake is awesome. Um, it's so much easier to use than those heavier ones, but future video to come on that. Then obviously on this side of my lawn, this is my front, my main front of my house. Uh, my, frame, my main front two windows are there, uh, doors over there. But I put down the stress blend obviously throughout the whole yard. Um, this part of the yard was actually starting to die off as well. Um, especially from overwatering. I had a sprinkler here and then I had a trench here that I, I dug uh, to move a sprinkler from one spot to the next. Um, and I threw some grass seed in certain spots because of the movement of those of that sprinkler and I was constantly watering and watering and same thing like that other side and I really think that caused a lot of my issues over here um, and I don't know I just wish I would have put down that stress blend earlier I think that would have helped with some issues as well and not just malorganite obviously malorganite like I was saying earlier it's a 640 it doesn't have any potassium in it um, and it is a slow release as well um, but if I put down that stress blend, and I definitely will do that earlier next year, it has that 20% potassium. I really think a lot of my issues would have went away or wouldn't have came, but nothing I can do. I'm going to live with it until the fall time, the overseed time, and I'm going to hit it with some heavy seed again this year. And then lastly, this is the side of my yard. I have a, I'm on a corner lot, so this is the side. I usually don't have this in a lot of my videos. I just wanted to show you, I did put the stress blend down, obviously, in this area as well. This area is more shaded than the most parts of my lawn. I have this tree behind me here, and then there's another tree off to my left, your right, over here. Um, those, you know, help with the shade. Obviously, actually, the sun actually uh, starts here on my side of the house and then sets on the other side. We actually have solar panels up on this roof over here. Um, because this is the side that actually gets the most sun, believe it or not. Um, but this is a mostly shaded area. So this area of my lawn has been the best throughout all my lawn uh, so far this year. Um, I did seed over here. Um, I'm going to move over in a, in, a, in a sec and show you that I did get some grass seed up from moving one sprinkler over here as well. Um, but like I said, fall over seed time, we're going to hit it heavy and it, this lawn is going to really fill in nice. So this is the side that I was telling you about that I did move some sprinklers around uh, right here. I did move a sprinkler 
uh, from up there down here there's a there was a trench that I dug and then I moved the sprinkler out over there to the side of my sidewalk um, so I did throw down some GCI tall fescue um, in this section over here it did come in nicely um, I just been hitting it with a spoon juice um, some a little bit of starter fertilizer I didn't want to put much down just to kick it up a little bit um, and I did put some hydrogen down so it did come in it did fill in a little bit um, but again that heat uh, just probably did this section in a little bit uh, the tree doesn't cover exactly this area here of the lawn so that definitely um, didn't, doesn't help as well but like I said fall time I always keep mentioning it but fall is the best time to overseed so we are going to hit my lawn again hopefully I'm thinking again with some GCI tall, uh, tall fescue I've been weighing some options of maybe switching it up this year to a local uh, farm here called Tuckahoe Farms um, but I think I'm gonna stick with the GCI turf I did have a lot of luck with that last year um, but again fall time best time to overseed gonna have some future videos on overseeding and what to prepare for that so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on that content because again this year I want to stress supply is down in, in a lot of areas um, and I'm gonna go in, into that into future video because I want you guys to have a good lawn this year and I want people to get those supplies earlier than they normally would this year especially with us coming out of a pandemic but future video to come on that probably sometime in late July a video will come on that so that's pretty much all I have for you today. Just wanted to do a review on the stress blend. Overall, I'm extremely happy with my results. Uh, all the Yard Mastery uh, products that I've used, I've been very happy with. Um, I haven't had anything bad to say about it so far. Um, I love how easy it is to work with those products. Um, like I said earlier, it's always three pounds per 1,000. That's the recommended rate. Um, so it's very easy for us DIYers to calculate out what we need for our yard. And again, the stress blend, I definitely saw some green up in my lawn, as you can see, and what I showed you, um, that's what I was hoping for. Um, obviously, it's not gonna cure those dead spots, um, but I was hoping for just a little bit of a green up to get me through the rest of the summer. So again, I will leave a link uh, to the stress blend in my video description if anyone's interested, interested in getting it. Um, I highly recommend it, especially for these cool season lawns. We are in a definitely a very humid, uh, hot summer here especially in the South Jersey area um, and it definitely will help everyone out uh, with that 20% uh, potassium in it. If you found this content helpful today make sure you smash that like button it helps out with the YouTube algorithm so other people can find this video and can find my channel and also please subscribe to my channel if you're new I just hit the 500 subscriber count a couple weeks ago and I had a giveaway for that and I want to get to that thousand subscriber count so I can have another giveaway so I can get back to the, my subscribers to my viewers um, that's what I really want to do um, again this journey we're all on a journey together us DIYers we like to do things ourselves obviously it's called do it yourself for a reason um, that's why I created this channel because I like doing things myself um, I like learning from my mistakes like I have this summer with the the different heat stress and the dead and the overwatering that happened to me so that's what's great about this channel I learn from it you learn from it and we all can grow and be better DIYers in our lawn. So that's what I strive for. So please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.